We're joined today with Thomas College men's cross country captains Will Janikus and Dan Collins. Guys, great season so far, really gotten off to a hot start. You have a team that has the largest number of participants in program history. Just talk about how the season's gone so far. Uh, the season's been going super well, obviously. We've got five guys running faster than the number one guy was when I was a freshman, so more competitive, competitive than ever, more depth than ever, so it's been real exciting. Yeah, you talk about the depth on the team and the incoming players. We have Nick Kopp, who's won Rookie of the Week for the NAC three times in a week. What does he bring to the team? Uh, he just brings his drive of he just wants to be the best. He wants to push it. He never wants to sit back. Every single race, no matter how badly it looks like he's going to get beaten, he just wants to go out there and win. Now, Dan, as a captain, what do you see from these young athletes? What can you do to help them kind of push to the next level? Well, I see, uh, I see them pushing a lot on their own, which is really good. We, we need a, a young team that's willing to work really hard, and we're getting that from them. Um, just showing that even not being in the top five where my team really needs me and pushing as hard as I am anyway, um, just offering them that support and showing that I work really hard for to be the best that I can be is what I can do to help them. Great. Now, you guys, first time in program history are going to be hosting the NAC Championship. Uh, you guys got a preview a couple weeks ago at the course, very challenging course. Uh, what do you guys look forward to uh, going into this race? Uh, it's just exciting to be at home. Obviously, that preview meet was the first ever home meet in program history, so it was exciting to get out of the way. But, you know, the way the rotation goes through will be 10 years before we host again, so it's just... Super exciting to be a part of this because no one else is going to be able to be a part of it for another 10 years. So it's cool to just be here and be running it. Yeah. Now, Dan, having run the course and being able to practice there on a daily basis, do you guys feel like you have an edge going into the championship? Yeah, I, I definitely say we have an edge. We've, uh, we've made a very tough course for everyone in the conference, and being able to practice on it gives us a real advantage going into it, uh, knowing the hills, knowing when to start pushing, and everything like that is, uh, is really important and it's definitely going to give uh, the other teams a lot of competition that they're not looking forward to. So. Yeah, great. Now, uh, just a little bit left in the season, what is your expectations individually-wise and team-wise? I think for myself, I'm trying to get in the top 15 again. I'd like to be all-conference again. And I know our team is looking for their best finish ever. Last year we were six, which was our best bettering eight. So I think this year... We really want to be top three, but I think really we just want to better where we were last year and just keep moving forward. Great. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the time, and good luck uh, with the rest of the season. Okay.